Hey guys, thanks for checking out this clip of Anatomy of the Church and State. Be sure to catch the full episode on Rumble or ChristiansForLiberty.com. Links are in the show description. Now you mentioned in your book that lately the Watchmen have been silent. Um, this is something that I harp on quite a bit um, on social media, uh, aka the pastors and church leaders who are supposed to guard against false doctrine um, have been silent. And I asked Pastor Dale what his take on why that was. I'm curious what you think. So in the introduction, when I talk about that, the, the watchmen, what I meant by that were not just the run of, not the run of the mill pastors, um, just in, in the thousands and thousands of churches across America. Um, I was talking about the leaders, the ones that all of those pastors look to for insight and direction. Um, I was talking about those guys and how they, for the most part, stayed silent through 2020 into 2021 on these social justice issues. Um, these are men that know history. They're men that know philosophy. They're men that know theology. And yet at the same time, they stayed silent against a threat that they are all very familiar with because it is the same threat that that attacked the church a hundred years ago and decimated um, can Christianity in America. Decimated. It gave us what we now know to be the mainline denominations and the mainline churches that um, have the form of godliness, but are but are dead. They're 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 rotting corpses of Christianity. Um, and so these men know all of that, and they stayed silent. And I didn't understand that. I kept waiting for them because I didn't see myself as a any kind of leader within Christianity. I just see myself as a, another pastor trying to shepherd his flock, uh, the flock entrusted to his care, I should say. And so when these watchmen, most of them stayed silent, I thought at first there was something wrong with me. <laughs> um, maybe I'm not seeing this correctly. Maybe they know better than I do. And so I waited and waited. I started seeing it. And I say in the book and in, uh, in 2015, I started seeing this and going, oh, I remember thinking this. I remember where I was on, in my backyard when I heard about this and thought, oh, oh, this will be dealt with. I don't need to worry about this. This will be dealt with. Um, in 2015, and it was ended the, when when our our cities were burning down. That I'm like, they've got to be, they got to talk about it now. They got to talk about it soon. No, nothing. And so there was there were a few courageous exceptions. So I'm not saying that they were everybody was silent. Mm -hmm. There were a few courageous exceptions, but for the most part, we um, we saw. Now your question was why were they silent? Um, I think it's the fear of man, um, but I also believe that that some of those guys were paid six and seven figures to not speak about it. Mm. I think they are bought and paid for, and I know that sounds like a conspiracy theory, but I know the people that introduced them to the people that gave them money. So I'm not speaking like about something that I'm I don't know about. I'm talking right. about things that I've I've talked to the people who who made those connections. I've talked to those people. So and they tell me this is what happened. So wow. it's not just the fear of man, although there is some of that. Mm -hmm. um, these people believe that they are going to be they're going to have privileged mm -hmm. places in the new world that's coming and can't be stopped. That's what they believe. And again, I'm not just saying that. I'm, I've talked to the people that have told me this, that this is what they were told. You, if you do this, if you take this money, if you do these things, if you stay silent about this, if you promote this, if you promote social justice, if you stay silent about it, we will make sure that you are fully funded for your school, your ministry, your, your, your nonprofit. We'll make sure that you're funded, number one. Number two, you will have a privileged place in the new world that is coming and cannot be stopped. So you can either, um, 
You can either get on board or get run over. It's up to you. Wow.